starting in 5 seconds i rise to present to this august house the budget estimates for the year 2022-23 in my budget speech last year i had highlighted several new schemes announcements and reforms i present my second budget before this house with the satisfaction that most of them have been implemented in keeping with our tamil customs and traditions i start by paying my respects to both my ancestral and political forefathers and to the senior dmk leaders who preceded me in this role i would not be here today but for their contributions and service to the dravidian idol and tamil society at the outset i convey my gratitude to the honorable chief minister who has been a source of immense strength and inspiration and has guided me throughout my career in public life all we have been able to achieve in fiscal management since we assumed office last may is the direct result of his guidance and unstinting support he has asked me to prepare the budget keeping in mind not just the present but the future including generations of tamils yet unborn this budget has been prepared with this vision the people of tamil nadu voted this government to power with an overwhelming majority last year we assumed office just as the second wave of the covid pandemic was surging with a magnitude five times that of the first wave yet the honorable chief minister fulfilled five major poll promises on his first day in office and subsequently formulated a vision document for this government which intends to fulfill the remaining commitments in the manifesto this government continues to fulfill its poll promises at a historically unprecedented pace including many major announcements made in the budget session last year this government has faced natural disasters such as the covid pandemic and unprecedented rainfall and floods since it assumed office in many places the total rainfall in 2021 was even higher than that of 2015 the year chennai was devastated by floods however due to the constant hands on efforts and proactive approach of the honorable chief minister the loss of life and livelihoods were minimized this was followed by the third omicron wave of the pandemic owing to the additional medical infrastructure put in place during the second wave and the administrative lessons learned and applied by this government the third wave was effectively and efficiently contained however these unforeseen events have further strengthened the state finances which were already in distress despite massive expenditure commitments this government has shown unparalleled fiscal discipline and management 
asking budget the legislature for an increase of only 1% of the budget estimates in the first supplementary estimate to the budget this year tamil nadu will see a reduction in the absolute level of the revenue deficit by over rupees 7000 crore reversing an alarming trend of increasing deficits every year since 2014